Hi, this is Lisa from Lularo Lisa Houston. We're going to go over how to do some simple picture editing for your inventory. Um, if you guys caught our video earlier, we went over the actual photographing of the pictures. So now I'm just going to go over a really easy way and quick way for you guys to get those pictures um, edited so they look good for your customers. I use a really easy and free program called PicMonkey. Um, you can just Google pick monkey and it will come up you can use it for free or there is a version that you can buy and I believe it's like $9.99 it's not very expensive I do pay for the upgrade just because I feel like it runs faster when I'm using it and you do get a few more extra features for this purpose for what we're going to be doing here for the editing of the inventory you would not need to do the upgrade um, because you're just going to use this collage here so we're just going to get started. Um, just go to the pick monkey and then you'll want to click on the collage. And this is it. This is how I do it. Now, if you don't want to do the collage, you can just do edit picture. If you guys have the signs next to your clothing, like some people do that is fine. Um, I like to do it this way because I can get a little bit closer picture of the clothes. So from here, you're going to the collage. Um, this button over here will bring out your bring up your layout. There's tons of different options. The standard one that I like to use has the long picture on the left side for clo the clothing and then two boxes, one for the size and then one for the close-up shot here. And that's for the detailed print so you can see what what the print is on each piece. Um, there's a few other ones you can use squares. The one that I use is in this called Biggie Smalls. And it's that first one there. And then you'll just go up to here. And what I do, so here are some of these images that we shot in that first video. And these are all of my um, extra small maxis, I think, or XXs. And so actually, I think these are, so I'm just going to choose, the one thing that I did forget to mention in the video was if I'm going to shoot all of my products in a row, I like to take a picture, and I'll just show you what it looks like, um, in between the sizes oops, as a place marker. So it's just, it's not a good picture, but it's just a picture, and I have a little, like, XS there you can see on it, so it tells me when I'm changing sizes. So that way I know when I've got a different size. I'm going to take that one out. So we're going to go through here and I select, I think those are all of my XXS's that I shot that day. So those will all come up here and then you'll want to go in and add, I just got to find these, I forgot to put them in the file. What I like to do is I just I have these made up in each size. So I just add them all in while I'm editing so that they're just there. And then you just drag and drop. So I'm going to pull over my XXS. I'm going to pull over my long shot. And then pull over my print. So when I was photographing them, I did the picture of the whole product. And then we changed our ISO, moved it up a couple, and took the close-up. So you can see um, they match really well. Now, if I wouldn't have changed that ISO on the camera, this picture would have been a different lighting than this one. So you have to move that ISO because you're zooming into it. So now you have your two products, or your two pictures, the close-up and the product. And basically that is all you need to do. I don't feel like this picture really needs any editing. Um, if you're using those camera settings like I talked about in the first video, um, you really shouldn't have to do any picture editing. If you want to, you'll go to this button up here and hit export to editor and then it's going to ask you, yes I want to go there, Ooh, Facebook. <laughs> Um, and then in the editor, there's all these wonderful things that you can use. And if you, they do have tutorials on PicMonkey that you can watch if you want to use them. But up here, you could change the exposure. 
um, make it brighter or darker. You can do some highlights. You can put some shadowing in. I think my picture looks better than that. Coloring. You can change your colors, see how it's going all different directions. Um, you can sharpen it if it kind of got out of focus a little bit. <clears throat> you can give it a little bit of an edge there. You can resize it if you want to at this point. So that's what you can do in the editor. Hopefully, if you've got your camera settings picked out and done correctly, you won't have to take it into the editor at all. So, I'll just go back and save. Not this collage. And then it should bring this all back up here. And then you can just hit, when this comes up, you can just hit clear all. And it removes the pictures, but your stuff is still over here. So then you'll just move over your next item. Drag and drop. X, X, S. And then you just click save. And then you'll just want to title it. I usually just start a folder with mine and title them with the name, the size, and then a number. And then, you know, you can make a file somewhere in your computer. Somewhere so you have them all together. And then you're done. So now if you want to, let's say you're on to the next, let's say I've done this one too, and you're going to go to the next size, you just hit clear all, and then I'll take this whole screen out. And then you can go through and take out your dresses, but leave your sizes in. Go to add images, and then go back to your pictures, and grab your next group of sizes. So if these are my extra smalls, those will all load in there for you. Pull over your size. Pull over a dress. Close up. And you're good. And then you just hit save and you just keep going. It, it ends up being real quick if you can get those pictures taken with the close up right next to it drag and drop them over, save it to a file, and then you can either do your Facebook albums or load them right, and I have people commenting because I have a pop-up going on right now. <laughs> um, and then, or you can put them into the row with me, and I will probably do a video later on uploading and getting stuff into the row with me as well for you guys. So um, any questions, please leave a comment and um, follow us. And again, thanks for stopping in.